Audi. Right, so last night I was driving this at the C4 and the, um, well, what I think is the timing about it snapped. I heard like a sort of cracking noise. And when I pulled away from a junction, it just, a lot of crunching. And then it just came to a stop and I got engine malfunction message, turn engine off. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it's not good. It looks like uh, I'm gonna have to look under the timing belt cover and uh, see what actually happened. And then let's see what assess the damage. Okay, so I've took off the cover, uh, took off the engine mounts, uh, so I've got access here, and I've got the top part of the cover off, and as you can see, the belt is still on, and it's under tension, so it's definitely still on alright. Um, I can't see any further here, so it's just to take everything off and have a look at the crank now. Seems like the problem is down at the bottom of the crank. So, I will continue. Alright, so just a, just a note, if you're taking the uh, auxiliary belt off on this, I got a 15mm spanner. You put it on this part here, and then you pull the tension back this way, and then insert something to lock it back, and then your belt should come off. So you can fit a drill bit in there or something. I'll just put a little spike in there. So it looks like the water pump has seized. Yeah, the engine wouldn't, I didn't even try to, but sort of turned it with the air ratchet a bit and it wouldn't, there was a lot of resistance, so I took the belt off. And everything spins all right. The crank wants to move, but this water pump down here, <coughs> that is jammed solid, so that, by the looks of it, has caused it to jump some teeth. And then we have to go under the cam cover now to see what damage we've caused. got it off that was a bit tricky I don't know if there's an easier way don't slay it because I just did what I can at the time well I took the uh, throttle body off just to slip it out the back there's two extra bolts on the side of there uh, so what we can see is we have one rocker arm missing here um, you can see a part of one I don't know if you can see down there just just down there uh, that one's missing. Uh, those ones are on, and all the rest of them are on. So it looks like there's just just two here that have completely gone. But I have to take everything out and check it. Right. So two broken, all the bits. I'm gonna have to fit all these back into these. See how many are left over. Got all accounted for all the big parts. Uh, if these are missing, I'm going to have to go into the sump and retrieve them. Uh, out of the eight, six seem alright, but I think I'll just go ahead and replace all of them anyway, so that's eight. Uh, camshaft I'm going to replace. 
um, the valves I can't see any obvious sort of damage but you know you don't know if you've bent one or not hopefully not so we'll have to have a look right so where I am now I've uh, removed all the followers and the tappets uh, most of the tappets are pretty stiff I'm just going to replace them all while I'm in here uh, removed the water pump so I'm going to fit the new water pump first and then I'm going to start with this so the new water pump's in uh, just need to talk it up so you can see with the old cam on the left and the new cam on the right you can definitely see that that second one down has moved and that fourth one down has moved but the rest look pretty much but we don't <coughs> now the idler and the tensioner has been replaced now to drop in the new tappets and the two new followers <coughs> so sorry about this video it's been a bit rubbish but I'm just trying to get this sorted so I can really go through every detail but everything's back in timing belt new timing belt is on tensioned everything's timed um, there's a hole here you see there where you can lock the camshaft and down the bottom there's a hole on the top you can just see it there the tip of my finger and that would line up and you lock that up but I've done all that spar it round hundreds of times uh, and everything feels good so fingers crossed a few moments later Right, sorry for how shit this video has been. I didn't really have time to film everything, well, anything. So um, I've put it all back together. Um, I've ran the engine. <clears throat> it's running really smooth. It's sitting at just under a thousand revs. Yeah, it's running nice. There's no noises. Um, yeah, so I think I could have been lucky on this. I've took it for a good test drive. Everything's fine. I've uh, bled the coolant. Obviously because I changed the water pump. So what I do is take this pipe off just for access and there is just a plastic cap down here So what you want to do is just take the top off here of the coolant reservoir Take the cap off and just wait till the, the air's gone and then it starts coming out and then put it back on I did that with it cold Then uh, I took it for a good drive, checked the level again, level was right down So I did it again, topped it up and now it's sitting fine so everything's alright um, <clears throat> at the timing belt, I'm going to put a video in the uh, descri uh, description, a uh, link to a video that I used off another channel. Um, it's a really, really good video, so um, I would advise to watch that video if you're going to do your timing belt anyway. As far as the top goes, what I can do is, what I haven't seen in other videos, I give you all the torque figures for changing the cam. Um, so you so you have that information basically i've got the actual ma proper manuals for this car because the torque figures are a little bit hard to find and then the torque for everything down here as well on the timing side but yeah touch wood oh I'll, I'll see how this goes we'll keep driving it see if we have any problems i haven't done a compression check um but the, there's no smoke out the back it's running fine the performance is great everything's fine uh, so it seems like it might have been lucky when it comes to uh, damaging any valves so obviously you know, there's going to be other people saying you've got to do compression check, you've got to check your valves, take the head off, all that. Um, they, they are right, 100%. You should do it. That's the proper way to do it. But obviously, for me, this is this is my missus' car. We rely on it. Um, it has to be done quick and cheap. Uh, so I've, I've done that to see if we could do it. And it seems like it's paid off. But obviously, that's not the correct way to do it. But this time, I might have just been lucky. We don't know. We'll see how it goes. The work is complete. And as you can see, it is running nice. 
sitting there steady. There's no horrible noises. It sounds exactly the same as before, if not better. Um, so what I did do is change the camshaft because the lobes had moved. Uh, changed, I think, three uh, the rocker arms that had snapped. Uh, obviously accounted for all the parts that had broken off. Um, also, I changed some of the tappets in there because they were they were they weren't very good. So I replaced a few of those while I was in there. They're only five or each or something. Um, obviously, new timing belt. The original timing belt was was good. It just obviously just jumped some teeth because uh, the water pump was seized. Uh, new water pump, new tensioner, new uh, idle idler pulley. Um, yeah, and um, all timed up using some drill bits. You can fit one in the flywheel, you can fit one in the camshaft, you can fit one in the crankshaft. It's quite easy. Line them all up. Uh, obviously, spun it over a good few times, about six times in total, and it was smooth. Um, you could feel obviously you're just pushing against the cylinders, but it was all smooth, no noises, so everything was good there. Uh, fired it up, perfect. So, bled the. Um, Bled the coolant, obviously. Took it for a big spin, warmed it up, cooled it down, warmed it up, cooled it down, checked the oil. Um, checked the coolant again, it had dropped back down. Bled it off again, topped it back up, so it's sitting nice. Got hot air coming out the uh, heaters and everything. The fault cores, I cleared them all, didn't come back. Um, yeah, so I've took it for a big drive. Everything seems okay, touch wood. It looks like there's no damaged valves, or hopefully I would know by, by now. But yeah, so I think all in all, um, about 300 quid for the bits, and then just my time. Um, obviously all the garages I rang wanted to put a new engine in, or strip the whole engine apart, which is obviously, yes, the right way to do it, do it properly, guarantee their work, so I understand. But obviously that's looking up into the thousands, 2000, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so I've just turned it around on the drive, basic. so if anyone's got any questions in the future, if they've had the same issue, then uh, give me a shout and I'll try and, I'll try and help out.